CEOs, let's talk personal brand. Now, don't click away. Don't roll your eyes. So there's probably half of you watching this who are into the idea of having a personal brand as a CEO, right? You love the way that Steve Jobs holds himself on stage. You're on podcast. You're out there. You're projecting your image into the world. And there's the second half of you having a strong emotional reaction to this. Be it fear, be it imposter syndrome, be it modesty, whatever that might be, you're having an emotional reaction to what when I talk about personal brand in this situation. So let's talk about why you want to do this. So as a CEO and a leader of a business, you are a public figure. Like it or not, you are already. And what having a personal brand allows you to do is to shape how people talk about you when you are not in the room. Be that places out in the world, like journalists who write about you, people talking about you on social media, you are projecting an image of how people see you when you're not around. But equally, and probably more importantly, that's useful to you internally within your business, right? How does this ever-growing team see or perceive you? Maybe they've never even spoken to you or only spoken to you for a few minutes. Your personal brand is how they're going to see you in the world. And you have got the ability to decide what that is, how people talk about you when you're not in the room, what the messages are you project to your team, to your customers, to the wider world. What is the impact you want to create with your team, with your customers in the wider world? What are the things you believe that you want for this large group of humans that you are connected to, the ecosystem of your team, your customers, and the wider world? You've got a lot of power there that you can influence through having the right message that's out there. And that's a message that comes from internally from you. Now, hopefully that's made you see it a little bit differently, right? This is not about being a TikTok influencer. It's most definitely not about that. This is about setting your view of the world, setting your view of who you are and what you want to achieve as a business leader and as a human in this world. And that the second, really the second part of it, the first part is becoming comfortable with the idea that, yeah, that sounds like something I want to do. And the second part then is thinking about what that message is. What is it that you believe in? What is the message that you want to share? The message that you want to put out there? Now, if you're a CEO of a publicly listed company, you're going to be a bit worried at this point, right? Because you have team, very teams, literally watching the share price as you say anything in the media. Everything's checked by the lawyers to make sure it absolutely is not going to have a detrimental effect on the share price. And of course, by all means, keep that team. But you are the boss. You are in charge. You set what you say and what you believe and how you talk to the world. You need to have a voice in this world. The worst thing that can possibly happen when you ask any employee who doesn't know you, what do you think of the CEO? Well, yeah, they seem like a nice person. Yeah, she seems like a good person. Yeah, they're all right. You know, pretty vague stuff. The reality is, is you can create that image of what you are so that when you do have interactions with these people, the expectations of what that interaction is going to be like can be completely different. You project yourself to the world and the views and the way that you want to see it. So that could be maybe you really deeply believe about environmental issues. Maybe you really deeply care about your team and your employees. Maybe you really deeply care about the product and the services that you're offering. All of these can form up as part of your personal brand and the message that you put into the world. Like you look at people like Tim Cook, obviously not a public speaker or somebody who wants to be out in the world, but you see him putting his beliefs into the world. He's CEO of the largest company in the world, right? You see him doing that. You see how his leadership is very different from Steve Jobs through his beliefs and through his stewardship. That's you. That's down to you. You have that power as a leader to be able to do that. So how can you unlock that? Simply start by listing a, th a list of the things you believe in, right? Believe about the business you want to run, the human you want to be, the world you want to create. Start from that. And that can then form the basis of this personal brand about how you talk about things out into the world, how you're seen by everybody. And obviously, most importantly, how you're seen when you're no longer in the room. Now, I've a couple of things here to help you. I'm going to be talking in a couple of weeks to a guy called Daniel Priestley, who wrote the book, Key Person of Influence, about effectively how to project yourself out into the world and become that key person of influence. But equally, I can support and talk to you about the challenges you might want to overcome from an emotional point of view to get there and to put yourself out into the world, right? What are you worried about? What have I triggered in you by talking in this video? So if I have triggered something in you about that, just drop me a line. Talk to me about what that might be. I'd love to hear from you. And if it's something you want to do to put yourself out there in this world and do it in a way that feels absolutely great and comfortable for you, drop me a line and let's talk because I'd love to be there to help you do that. Thank you very much for your time.